Well, five years ago, Jillian Rennie was one of the many injured by the marathon bombings. The doctors at Brigham and Women's Hospital saved her life and her wounded legs. Her family, in turn, created the Stepping Strong Fund, which supports research for innovative trauma care. 20 grants totaling about $2 million in research funds have been awarded since Stepping Strong's inception in 2014. And as WBZ's Dr. Malika Marshall shows us, that research is already changing lives. I think the experience of taking care of many of the marathon victims pushed us to really take this idea and this notion about a better amputation and turn it into a clinical reality. The idea behind the Ewing amputation, named for its first recipient, was being discussed even before the marathon bombings, a procedure that would protect the nerves and muscles at the point of amputation and allow the normal communication between the brain and limb to continue. The Stepping Strong Center made it happen. Okay, just come forward. On. Tammy Jerome struggled for more than five years with the after effects of tendon surgery in her left leg before deciding amputation was her best option. I was more than ready. I had a leg there, but it didn't function. Um, and it held me back from doing things with my family. Tammy underwent the Ewing procedure last August. The healing process has taken time, but just this past week, she had the final fitting for her new leg. It's crazy. It's, I mean, this just gives, I mean, gives life back. It's fantastic. She's now ready to make up for lost time. Her first challenge, the BAA 5K race this Saturday. I was still legless when I signed up for the 5K and said, I'm going to do it. I think it's a very small example of these cumulative little small events that define somebody recapturing their life. Got to get it done in less than an hour, so <laughs> I'm going to walk. I got to walk past. Thank you so much to, you know, the Rennies and Stepping Strong to be able to, you know, have something like this come out of it and, and Dr. Cardi and all of his, you know, research that he's done towards something like this. It's benefiting, you know, not only myself, but a whole bunch of other people. The next step in this evolution, so-called smart limbs, bionic prosthetics being developed at MIT that communicate with the brain enabling motion much like a natural leg. Tammy's had the opportunity to try one of these limbs. It actually feels like it's part of you at that point. And, um, you know, to not have your foot there, but to be able to have something like that actually feel like it's part of you is, is just amazing. If we can offer patients like Tammy the ability to not have to think about doing things normally, if the everyday is just the everyday, like for the majority of us, that is a huge win. And that's forgetting disability. That is um, feeling whole again. The smart limbs are still experimental, and practical use is still a ways off. Right now, Tammy is focused on the 5K and getting back on skis by the end of the year. It's given me a whole new outlook on things that I couldn't do before. Um, so it, it's, it's just a whole new beginning. Now, Dr. Cardi says the Ewing procedure could also be used for upper extremity amputations or for spinal cord injuries in the future. The Brigham will have a team of 120 runners at this year's marathon who will raise about a million dollars for stepping strong. Paula. Malika Marshall, thank you. WB